Hey guys, welcome to another Faith Plan With Me. Today I'm doing it a little bit different than what I normally do because normally I have my Faith Planner out here. But I'm not doing that this time. And I also have decided that, first of all, I should have been more prepared. That's one thing. Where did I put those? There they are. I've decided I am going to go ahead with these Januaries and uh, just put the dates on the top like I did last time. This is something that my husband and myself created. It is not like something you can just go out and buy. This whole entire planner isn't or whatever you want to call it. So um, if you're interested in something like this, and you want to know how I did it, I can try to explain it. I did try to explain it a little bit in the last video, but it's pretty much just like a bullet journal. And I'm going to be doing it a little bit different this time because I want to... Um, I, I want to use more than just washi. Um, it's going to be through the, the 10th through the 16th. I believe that's right anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and write in 10 through 16. That's the date. And now I'm just going to decorate these two pages here, front and back. And this um, top part will be like for me writing in what, like a grateful thought of the week. And, um this right here that's what that is for and the rest of it will be for writing in the scripture writing oh my computer just came on but I know what scripture writing uh, thanks computer I know what scriptures I do I'm doing this time because I'm ju we're just writing the first book of Genesis so I already know that so I don't need to take out my plan so let me go ahead and move this because I'm done with it and I will still have some of these left over. I don't know what I'm going to do with these 2022s. I mean, I don't need them, but I'm probably going to do the same thing throughout the whole year. Just use like this for the very first and then use these after that. Um, hopefully you saw what I was just doing. I don't even know. So let's go ahead and get the days of the week going first because that will be the first thing that I need to do. This is just a roll of washi that has the days of the week on it and I've decided to use it. So far, anyway, I have not um, changed my mind about that yet, but I'm just going to put in each day and then I'll go from there after that and this may not be exactly in the middle here that looks like it's going downhill but I'm going to try to get it as close to the middle as possible I'm not going to worry about it if it's not the exact middle if I wanted to do that I could easily take out a ruler and do all those things but I'm not going for perfection I'm going for something that's authentically me I guess <laughs> just something that's done in a cute way that is functional as well and something this simple but I need two pages every week um, so far anyway there may be at some point where that I change up how I do it and I may have to use more pages uh, there may be a point where that I don't use two whole pages that I use maybe just one or something like front and back or something like that I don't know yet 
how it's going to go since the year has just started and I've never done this type of thing like this before I've used like well it was a tin planner I've used one of those for scripture writing something similar to this but it wasn't exactly like this so what I plan on doing at this time is I want some decoration and I'm kind of torn between these books. I don't know. I want to use, I don't know about for sure about this one because it's got much darker florals. But I just wanted some florals. I, I wanted to go in and do a little bit different type of decorating than what I have so far in here. So these flowers... Even though it's January, that's what I want to use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Well, no, I'm not going to do the flowers yet. I got, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's put the dates down. Um, the 10th through the 16th. Go ahead and get those down. So, there we put this in. I'm trying not to talk as much because I'm still getting over whatever the sickness is. And, um, thankfully I had recorded ahead of time last week's planner videos. And, um, had those recorded just had not I had them recorded before I got sick but I had not um edited or anything but I did get those up you guys know that because they're on my channel but I had gotten those done but my other channel kind of I did have a grocery haul done that I had to edit but I didn't really have, and my what's for dinner was a little bit strange. But I'll get caught back up on all of that soon, I hope. I didn't even have a grocery haul for this week. Because we didn't go grocery shopping because I was sick. And someone else could have done it, but we just didn't. Also, the week that I'm decorating for is my daughter's birthday, which I usually don't do like birthday stuff in this planner, but her birthday's on this day. So, dates are down, so let's get to this part. And I've done something similar to this before in um, my big happy planner where the, I took the flowers. I probably should have gotten my big scissors for these big ones. And I cut them down just to um, be able to use the flowers but stretch them to where that they didn't take up too much of the page. Because otherwise I really couldn't use these big flowers. I really... don't know how I would be able to anyway and I've seen some planner spreads where they've used the flowers and gone all the way around the page and it's beautiful but I really don't need to do that because if I did that I may not end up with enough space to write everything that I'd like to write oh well that's where that one's going because I just dropped it okay I accidentally dropped it down there a little faster than I expected. But what I want to do is pull in some of these florals. And then I can go back with washi if I need to. I 
I want to stick that one to the side like that, but I'm not going to be able to put it there, so I'll just put it here. And I know that it's not on the same page, but that's okay, too. Let's see. I think I'll come in with this pink one. It's a little smaller. So I was thinking I could get it in right here. Maybe have the other part. On the opposite side I think what I should have done is put it down and then cut it off because I have done that before too but that works see now it's like the whole thing is there and I probably won't use any of the other books because I'm finding that I really am liking this a lot And I know that it, you know, like I, I was saying, it's January. It's not, you know, a season for flowers and things. But honestly, I don't, I don't mind that there's going to be flowers on this that are not in season. I don't care about that kind of stuff. Uh, when it comes to my planner, I just do what? is fun and makes me happy with it and I think that's what everybody should do um, I think you should have fun with your planners you shouldn't be strict and you shouldn't feel like you have to do what's on trend and what everybody else is doing and all those types of things you should do what you want to do with your own planner and whatever makes you happy with it Let's see, where do I want to put this one? I think I want to put it right here. Because you're the one that's going to have to look at it all week. You're the one that's going to have to um, be happy in the long run with it. So, do what you like. And I should have grabbed the other scissors again didn't. Let's see. I kind of want to put this up top. Oh. I didn't put it exactly where I wanted it. one up here okay I am gonna go in with my washies I brought out these because I was thinking they would work well but I didn't really bring in any blue so I probably won't use this one even though I love what it says it says in the storm I will praise him um, I don't know since I didn't bring in blue, I guess I won't. Or I could just bring in some blue. I'll do these first. Now this one has blue and purple on it. It's multicolored. And I was just thinking that I would just go in and um I don't like that. I kind of wish I would have went all the way over to the pink, but I'll have to pick that up to do it. So that means I'm going to have to pick all the numbers up. I should have waited to do the numbers, but I wasn't sure if this was going to work. I also have um, in one of the other books, there's some more um, Here, I'll do it like this, I think. I think that'll be cute. Anyway, there's some more, like, paper washi. 
this like stickers and I had thought about using that if I used that book but I'm just not going to be using that book I'm not going to put anything up there but I am going to put it down here so let's go ahead pull that up and I'm just going to stick it on that washi and these say for, but first pray and they have eyelashes on them I'm not a big eyelash which now I do sometimes wear fake eyelashes whenever I do wear my makeup I think they're cute plus the fact that my eyelashes are not I'm going to go ahead and just stop there because of it starting over with what it was saying but my eyelashes are not um, I think I'll put it over here this time because I don't want to cover up where it says but first and do what you want with your planner you know um, anyway my eyelashes are sparse let's put it that way they are not as um, luxurious I guess I don't know they're not as thick and long as I'd like for them to be they're not like they used to be, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe they've always been this way and I just didn't realize it. I actually thought that my eyebrows were less than what they used to be, but I mean, they are less than what they have been, but um, looking back over the last several years, they haven't changed much. I can't really see that much the heart so let's just kind of do the same thing here there we go and then for this one last spot this one is a little bit wider than the other three that I used I'm gonna go ahead with the blue I'll pull in some blue. Okay. That's not a good idea to drop my little thing all right, I'm just gonna stick this down here for Sundays they're all different and that's fine I don't mind that so let me go ahead with some sort of blue if I can find some blue I mean there's some blue on it's a blue on this one and I think it'll be fine I think it'll work I think I'll just put that there and I know it's not on the same exact page but I don't mind that one bit let's see I'll put it like this ah going down too fast I feel like I need something down here but I do want to put some of these little other things in and I don't think I'm gonna cut them at all like these little things I might cut um, one of the bigger ones but I don't think I want to cut the smaller ones And if I did cut them, it would just, I think it would just take away from them. You know what? There's some other colors over here. Let's pull in that one. And there's a green one.
maybe like that. Pull in another yellow. Let's see, I've got two on that page. Got two on that page. I guess I've got two on these as well. And I'm not taking up too much of my space that I can't um, do the other things I need to do. And I guess I'll just put in another red one over here. That way I have two of different ones on each page. And I'm thinking about, just for this top part up here, um, putting in some one of these, some of these uh, quotes or sayings or whatever, but I don't know which ones. Because this is actually a memory keeping book and it's made for like scrapbooking kind of stuff. So, um, it says different things that I don't know if it's going to work. I think I'll put, I don't know, I never really, oh, this one, yeah, good stuff, because this is all good stuff, it's scripture writing, it's good stuff, um, I'm really enjoying writing Genesis. It's it's something that I've never done before, like just writing the first book of the Bible, you know. I've never done that. I'm going to put this one in. It says, love this so much. I think I'm just going to put it like this. Oh. It went down a little bit faster than I wanted, but that's okay. It turned out okay. All right, so I think that's all I'm going to do with this. And I really think that doing this, having more color, which I kind of feel like I needed something over here, but I'm not going to do anything else because I don't want to take a chance of making a mistake with it and doing too much. But having a little bit more color this time. Oh, wait, I didn't write down the scriptures. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, this is going to be Genesis 110. Because we're writing Genesis 1. And it will be the day of the month because there's 31 um, verses in Genesis 1. And then this one is Genesis... 1-11. Oh, that's an S. I don't know what I was doing there. Okay. Genesis 1-12. Genesis 1-13. Oh, that's a mess. I cannot seem to write... G's tonight. Genesis one fourteen. Genesis one fifteen. And then Genesis one sixteen. And if you'd like to follow along with me in the um, script writing plan, it's totally free. I make one every month, and um, you're welcome to go to my link tree and grab it from there and print it off or screenshot it or however you want to do it, which this month is super simple. I just did this, and I didn't do my normal format. My normal format, I would have the scriptures written out or, you know, they would be out there so you could see exactly which ones it is but this time since it was just 1 through 31 it was just easier to do it this way but I think because and I'm going to show you just a little bit like this is this week right now because today is actually Wednesday um I'm having I kind of like show you which of course this part's not filled out because 
hasn't been time yet. Um, and like this part, I had so much space left after I wrote what I wanted to write. But this one I would have had, you know, might have had a problem with uh, the way I was writing it. But these scriptures are so short in Genesis that I don't think I'm going to have a problem with decorating a little bit like this. So this is what it's going to look like for this week, starting here. And I think this is going to be really fun, and it's really pretty, and it's super simple. So, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. And if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so be notified whenever I upload. Let me a comment down below. Do you do scripture writing plans? Do you enjoy doing them? Do you decorate your scripture writing journal or planner? And, um, like, I've been using regular planners for several years. But I wanted to just get back to something that was basic and just paper um, instead of all the extra. And yeah, I know it's dot grid, but still. Um, it's just a simple little notebook that my husband and I made. I'm still not loving this part and the washi is coming up. So I don't know about that part. I may take that off because I just stuck that on there. Um, we made this part. I bought the paper from Amazon and I bought this ring from Amazon it just screws on there uh, goes through the thing but yeah just a simple little notebook we made Jeff is very talented and he cut that out and had it the way it needed to be and then I sewed it all on sewed the leather on and stuff so that is the way it's gonna be I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, like I said, hit the like. Don't forget that I do have another channel that has lots of different other things. And hopefully I will get it back to where it needs to be. My normal schedule. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet.